Sophia. I am writing a letter to my friend in Word 2016. In the letter, I want to make some changes like bold, italic, underline, etc. But I do not know how to do all this. Can you help me? Sure, Romy. It means you want to format your Word document. Format? What is it? Please tell me about formatting in Word 2016. Fine, Romy. Let us read this chapter. Modifying the appearance of the text in a Word document is called formatting. To improve the appearance of the text, we can change font, font size, font color, add font effects, highlight text, add symbols or bullets, etc. The listing style, line spacing and arrangement of a paragraph or multiple lines of text can also be changed so that it looks presentable. Let us learn about formatting in Word 2016. Changing the font and the font size. The options to format the font are available in the font group on the home tab. In a text document, every letter, number or symbol used is referred to as a character. A font refers to a character designed in a specific way. There are various kinds of fonts available in Word. For example, Arial, Calibri, Verdana, etc. When we open Word, the text appears in the default font. The size of the font of a character is measured in points. It is possible to change the font style and also its size. To change the font and the font size of text in the document, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the text which we wish to modify. Step 2. Click on the drop-down menu arrow in the font box present in the font group on the home tab. The font drop-down menu will appear. Step 3. Move the mouse pointer over the various fonts. An effect of the font will appear in the document. Step 4. Select and click on the font which we wish to use. The font of the selected text will change in the document. Step 5. Now, click on the drop-down menu arrow next to the font size box, present in the font group on the home tab. A drop-down menu will appear. Step 6. Move the mouse pointer over the various font sizes. Step 7. Select and click on the font size we wish to use, changing the font color. We can change the color of font in a Word document. The steps to change the color of font are as follows. Step 1. Select the text whose color we wish to change. Step 2. Click on the font color drop-down menu arrow in the font group on the home tab. The font color menu will appear. Step 3. Move the mouse pointer over various font colors. Step 4. Select and click on the font color we wish to use. The font color will change in the document using bold, italic and underline options. When the whole document is written in the same font, some part of the text like subheadings and important words need to look different. For this purpose, the three options, bold, italics and underline options can be used. Text can be made to appear darker than the normal text by using the bold option. It can be slightly slanted by using the italics option and it can be underlined by using the underline option. To use these three options, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the text we wish to modify. Step 2. Click on the bold, italic or underline options in the font group on the home tab. The selected action will be performed on the text. For example, the text with bold effect, the text with italic effect, the text with underline effect. Applying text effects. Many effects like shadow, reflection and glow are available in Word and can be applied to the selected text. The steps to apply text effects 
are as follows. Step 1. Select the text to which we wish to apply the text effect. Step 2. In the font group, click on the text effects drop-down menu arrow. Step 3. Choose the text effect we want to apply to the text. The text will appear in the selected effect. Superscript or Subscript Superscript and subscript refer to the text that is positioned slightly higher or lower than the text on the line. For example, a scientific formula might use subscript text. Examples of superscript are first, second and third. And examples of subscript are H2SO4 and H2O. The steps to make the desired text superscript or subscript are as follows. Step 1. Select the text that we want to format as superscript or subscript. Step 2. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click on the superscript or subscript option. We will get the required result. Adding bullets and numbers. Bulleted and numbered lists can be used in the document to organize, arrange and emphasize the text. When we want to organize lists, in Word, we can format them as either bulleted or numbered lists. Word offers a variety of bullet options that let us customize lists. To add bullets and numbers, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the list we wish to customize. Step 2. Click on the bullets or numbering drop-down menu arrow in the paragraph group on the Home tab. Step 3. Select the bullet or numbering style we would like to use and it will appear in the document. To remove bullets or numbers from a list, select the list, then again click on the bullets or numbering option. While editing a list, we can press the Enter key to start a new line. The new line will automatically have a bullet or number. When we reach at the end of the list, Press the Enter key twice to return to normal formatting. Aligning text The arrangement of the text on a page is called an alignment. In Word 2016, there are four types of alignment options, left, right, center and justified. For aligning a paragraph, select it and choose the way we want to align it from the four alignment options on the paragraph group. The four ways to align text are Left Align This aligns the text along the left margin. Right Align This aligns the text along the right margin. Center Align This aligns the text in the center of the left and the right margins. Justified This aligns the text with both the right and the left margins. Applying Border and Shading to enhance the appearance of the text in a paragraph, we can quickly add a border and shading to the selected text. When we add a border, we can specify what sides we want to include or exclude. For example, we can add a border on just the top and the bottom and leave the sides open. Shading colors is used to provide the background behind the selected text or paragraph. We can also customize borders and shading by changing the line, style, color and width. To apply border and shading, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the text that we want to modify. Step 2. Click on the borders option in the paragraph group on the home tab. The borders and shading dialog box will appear. Step 3. Select the borders and shading option from the drop-down list. The borders and shading dialog box will appear. Step 4. To add borders, select the borders tab in the borders and shading dialog box. Step 5. Click on the required border setting, style and color. After this, click on the OK button. The defined border will be applied to the text. Changing the text case. Sometimes, changing the case of the text is needed to highlight some text. To change the case of the text, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the text whose case we wish to modify. Step 2. Click on the Change Case option in the Font group on the Home tab. Step 3. 
select the desired case option from the list. The case of particular text will get changed accordingly as shown. Changing the text case. Sometimes changing the case of the text is needed to highlight some text. To change the case of the text, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Select the text whose case we wish to modify. Step 2. Click on the Change Case option in the Font Group on the Home tab. Step 3. Select the Desired Case option from the list. The case of particular text will get changed accordingly as shown. Dictionary Superscript Using this feature, in Word, we can type very small letters slightly above the line of text. Subscript Using this feature in Word, we can type very small letters slightly below the line of text. Underline It is used for underlining the important words in the document. Alignment The arrangement of text on a page is called an alignment. Let's refresh. The appearance of the text can be changed in Word 2016. This is called formatting. When a character is designed in a certain way, it refers to as a font. The font size and font color can be adjusted. MS Word also allows us to add text effects like shadow, glow and reflection. Bold, italics and underline options make the selected text dark, slightly slanted and underlined respectively. In the same line as the text, the character slightly above the normal text is called superscript and slightly below is called subscript. The arrangement of the text in a document is called an alignment. There are four types of alignment options in Word 2016. Left, Right, Center and Justified.